Hi, my name is Aaliyah, and this is my high school bullet journal. I worked on this for about two years over the span of two grades, grade 10 and 11, and I was very extra with it, as you can see. I should also add that most of the designs are not created by myself. They're inspired by Amanda Ridge Lee and Caitlin De Silva and other Google images that I found on the internet. That's just a little drawing that I did for fun. Those are some more little doodles. I love drawing eyes. And here is July. So here is my habit tracker for July and I would track a lot of my habits over the month. I didn't keep that too consistently, but for the first part of July I did pretty well. And here is August. That month I was going to BC and Alberta, so that's where the theme comes from. And I definitely got this off of Google Images. <laughs> Here is this little word of the month, so aesthetic, that I put, oh, and there is the word of the month, because I was going on vacation then. Here are my habit trackers, I did pretty well with them for this month, um, that's my mood tracker, I was in a pretty good mood because I was on vacation. And now we're on to September, the start of school. Love these quotes. Wow. So deep. On the right, that's just a contact log because I was section leader. And here is the calendar for September. I almost view bullet journaling as a diary because looking back, I don't even remember half these assignments, but some of them I really do. So it's just a way to look back on your life, which is really memorable. For the weekly log, I separated the schedule and the to-do list, which I found really efficient. And here is my habit tracker. I have an energy tracker, a health tracker, and a mood tracker. I'm going to talk a little bit more later about the food trackers because I think that you can make it your own. You don't have to follow mine, and I'm going to explain mine later. I think the next theme is self-explanatory. October is Halloween. I distinctly remember my friends laughing at both of these quotes because they're so corny. I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with corny quotes in bullet journals. <laughs> they're not even- I know that they're bad, but it doesn't stop me. This is a log of what I'm grateful for. I only did it for four days and my friends vandalized it, as you can see. Here is a stress level tracker. I don't know if I stopped filling it out or for the rest of the month, I was really stressed. My second theory seems quite plausible. And here is the October calendar. And here is the weekly log. I put in a study tracker and a stress tracker. And again, I barely use them. Be mindful about this. If you're gonna make something in your bullet journal, actually use it. I know that the extra stuff is cute, but especially if you're a student, it might waste your time. Here's some blank pages. And November is pie themed. Gotta love this. This one's one of my favorites, easily. Here is the calendar. It's not too special. It's pretty simple for this month. A weekly log that I never used. Love that.
Next is December. At the top you can see that there's a calendar and a hot cocoa mug, which I really like. And then on the other page, there is a log of songs that I needed to memorize for a production that I was in. I wish I enjoyed doing math as much as I enjoy bullet journaling. Like, I don't have to do math anymore because my program doesn't require it, but in high school, I could have really used the effort. Shout out to all y'all who love math! Couldn't be me! I had a lot of my final assignments due in December, so I used my weekly log a lot during this month. I'm just shocked that I didn't have a quote saying, New Year, New Me, somewhere on the title page for January, but apparently I didn't. Looks like I spoke too soon. Don't stop until you're proud. Wow. Nice and simple for the January calendar because I anticipated that I wasn't going to use it too much. Now here is the basic weekly schedule. And here is February. Cherry blossom theme because I thought, why not? Let your ideas bloom. Get it? Because it's a cherry blossom theme. Ha 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 ha. What a knee slapper. Oh look, it's my calendar. Wow. And the weekly spread, and an unfinished march. I bet you would have been nice, but never did it. April? I don't know what I was thinking with this calendar spread. It looks so weird, and I never used it because it was not functional at all. Because it's not horizontal. I don't know, man. Obviously a normal weekly spread, at least I didn't do that one horizontal. May, never started May. I was starting to get busy with school. <gasps> this one, July. This one was based off a trip that I did to Newfoundland. So it's Newfoundland themed. You can see with the houses. You'll see a lot of those in Newfoundland. And that was based on a picture that my dad took. <gasps> Christian Girl Summer. <gasps> Look at that quote. Love it. Live, laugh, love. That's for my next bullet journal if I ever start a bullet journal again. Here is a sleep tracker I never used. A bullet journal tracker that I never used. We love it. July. The calendar version. The three houses are based off of a picture that I took also in Newfoundland. This is one of my favorites. I think I got this inspiration from Amanda Rach Lee. She did something like this in her bullet journal once where she put Polaroid pictures. And those are just two pictures that I have from the trip. It was really fun. I miss that trip. Then there is August. August is lemonade themed for some reason. And I want to talk more specifically about the health tracker. So sometimes I would track my sugar intake specifically because I have a big sweet tooth. But sometimes I would just track whether or not I was generally eating healthy. And I want to say that it's really important to eat full meals, okay? This is not 
a diet tracker specifically all right to restrict my food it's to manage how much junk food i'm eating so i'm eating healthy so just remember to eat full whole meals with that being said september has arrived i have a lot of the same habit trackers more cheesy quotes as you're gonna see at the bottom you know that quote might be cheesy but it's really true small changes do make a big impact that's why habit trackers are really important to take note of how you're improving your life if you're wondering what all the random scribbly notes are at the bottom of the calendar i had an assignment and it was very specific about the type of fabric we needed because i took interior design in high school so i was writing all of the teacher's requirements down really quickly and that's what you get The page on the left was supposed to be a fall 2019 assignment overview, but now looking back that would work a lot better for university because you get a syllabus in university where you have all your assignments laid out, but that's not the case in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, in five minutes. That was my mom asking me if I wanted to go for a walk. It's annoying that I never use this tracker. It's really cute, and I just never used it. I don't know why. Here is the monthly overview. I used it quite a bit during this October. November is an interesting month when it comes to bullet journaling because there's not really any holidays. I mean, December is for Christmas, September is kind of back to school, October is Halloween, but November you get to work from a blank canvas, which I really like. Both of my Novembers I'm proud of. Routine equals queen. I should just have like one of those Instagram accounts where I put inspirational quotes at this point. I love this December one. It's, it's a vibe. I don't know how to describe it. I used that things to do box a lot, so that was good. Never used the stress tracker, although it's really cute, that deer. I didn't trace that, and I'm proud that I didn't trace that. So you're probably tired of seeing the same weekly spread, but it's the only thing that works for me. January is crystal themed and I'm going to take a second to appreciate that my nails match the theme which was not planned so that's fun. I didn't write down any of my finals for that finals tracker. I, I don't know these finals trackers in high school just weren't working for me I guess. Also I should mention that I use a lot of watercolor and this is not the right paper for watercolor, but I still did it anyways, and I don't regret it. I tried to use what I had around me, so I had the watercolor paints. I had that black dark marker is really important. I use that all the time because I find that it makes, makes your pages really pop out. And I'll just use any type of markers that I have available. 
two lines awkwardly intersecting represent my personality. It just doesn't make any sense. This is an unpopular opinion, but rulers are overrated, but I should probably be using rulers because I'm starting to see that my lines were kind of crooked in multiple spreads, so yeah. You can use a ruler, but I think it's overrated, but I also bear the consequences of not using the ruler. This month was so busy for me because I was in Cinderella the Musical outside of school, so that's why I have nothing written down. And by the way, I do a lot of these in advance, so I don't just do them when the new month comes. I probably did this around winter break, I'm gonna guess. My piano teacher used to also write in when I needed to practice in my bullet journal. By request, by the way. <gasps> I'm so quirky. Look at my guacamole quote. There's my schedule. Yay. Those notes are from grade 10. We were reading Tuesdays with Maury. My friends, we have come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Keep bullet journaling and have a great day.